hello guys welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here kindly hit the subscribe button below and turn on my post notification if you're not subscriber a huge welcome back to you so guys in today's video we're going to learn how to buy and stake your evmos and also how to navigate through with your mobile phone a lot of people are finding it difficult to like see their evmos in their mobile phone so i'm going to show you how to navigate through and add evmos to your kepler wallet extension in your mobile phone but let's start with buying and staking your evmos so guys um this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to buy and stake your Evmos. The first step is buying your Atom from your Binance or any other wallet of your choice. The second step is transferring your Atom from your Binance to your Kepler wallet. The third step is to swap your Atom using Avdos Osmosis Zone to Evmos. Swap your Atom to Evmos. Your first step is take your Evmos. It's as simple as possible. So I'm going to make it as straightforward as possible. So guys, let's get to it. So let's get on with this tutorial. For the purpose of this video, I'm using a whole new wallet to do this whole process. So I'm going to buy, I've already gotten my $40 worth of Atom from my Binance. So let's see the whole process. After buying, you can see that I have an Atom here so next thing is to send my atom from my binance to my kepler so copy my kepler wallet address and paste confirm the whole process verify the whole verification process sending a drawer and every other thing goes on so next thing we wait for it for the process transaction to be completed so transaction processing and all of that next thing we go over to our kepler wallet extension to check if the atom that we sent has arrived so going to our kepler wallet extension we open it and check for our atom opening it up you can see yes that your atom is a 39.8 worth of atom i get it there was charges through the process so the next step is to swap from the atom to my Evmos using our app dot osmosis dot zone so we go to the assets section assets go over to our atom yes go over to our atom and then deposit because currently the atom is in a kepler wallet so we have to deposit from kepler to the app dot osmosis zone so once we deposit click on the max and deposit there are little charges I just have to approve. I usually use low transaction fees. I'm not in a hurry. Wait for the transaction to be completed. Approve and wait for it to come in to the app dot osmosis dot zone. So go ahead and approve the transaction. Transaction broadcasting completed. So the next thing is to check our atom and then swap from our atom to our Evmos. Go to the swap section, choose atom, choose Evmos. You preview the transaction, click on max because I'm willing to transfer everything. So 3.11 atom gives us 15.429 at, at the time of this video. So we swap. approve the transaction and then go over to the asset session to check to see the Evmos that you have just swapped going over to the asset session you scroll down to see our Evmos and it's there 15.43 whatever whatever worth of Evmos so now you go to the withdraw session because we're trying to withdraw the Evmos from our osmosis. The Evmos currently is, at, is in this osmosis zone. We're trying to withdraw it to our Kepler. So it redirects us to the app.evmos.org where we now connect our wallets 
connect the Kepler wallet. Approve it. And then looking over here, click on the get address and then click on max and then transfer from coins from osmosis. It will be redirect us to our Kepler, which will now choose low transaction fees and approve. Once that is done, we go over to our Kepler wallet to check if our FMOS has arrived. So looking at the FMOS session, you can see that it's there. So we come back to our app.fmos.org, go over to the staking section because we want to stake our FMOS. So click on view validators. You can see a lot, a whole number of validators who are available for you to dedicate your tokens to. So choosing any validator of your choice. In this video, I chose friends validator. Let's go to the delegate session. Click on delegate. Then you impute the amount of FMOS that you want to delegate. Impute it. And then, then you click on delegate. And that is it. Done. So guys, for navigating from using your mobile phone is basically the same process but over here you make use of your kiwi browser because using your kepler mobile app you can see evmos there at least for now in the time of this video evmos is now available in your kepler mobile app so use your kiwi browser download your kiwi browser from your play store this is for android device download your kiwi browser from your play store and then add your kepler wallet extension add go over to the extension add your kepler wallet extension to it once you've added your kepler wallet extension you you can open it up and then you can see your evmos when you scroll down so if for the purpose of staking and transferring you can still use is using the basic processes send once your atom is ready, you can swap using your app.osmosis.zone and then you can also stake using app.evmos.org For me, if I want to use my phone, I simply go over to the change to desktop site. I think it makes it easier, it makes it look better. So you just do this and then the whole process is okay, done. So you can go over and always check your Evmos balance your staking rewards and every other thing using your Kiwi browser that if you don't want to just always open your up your PC or you don't have a PC yet you can use your phone to always check your Evmos balance your staking rewards and every other thing using your Kiwi browser in your Android devices thank you guys for watching if you found this video helpful kindly click on the like button subscribe share with your friends thank you guys see you all in my next video bye